Hello loves and welcome back to another video. Um, today, don't mind the paper towels in the back. They've been there for like a week now and I still haven't brought them inside and we ran out the other day so I really should. Um, but today, gonna be kind of weird, kind of exciting. Um, I think you can probably tell by the title. I don't know what I'm gonna title this yet. But my grandmother, we're celebrating her birthday a little bit and we are going to an alpaca farm. Um, my parents went to one together the other, like, a month or two ago. They loved it. You can, like, walk with alpacas, I guess, is the concept. Um, but, yeah, my grandmother lives... Of course. Sorry about that. My grandmother lives, like, an hour or so away. Um, and she's coming. She's gonna stay with them. And we're gonna go do that. So, my first trip is going to be to the bakery to pick up um, her cake. She gets carrot cake. Ew, I know, but she likes it. So that's what we're going to do. Then I'm going to go to my parents' camp. We're going to hang out for a little bit and then we're going to drive to the farm and I'll take you guys with me. So let's go. Also, yes, my windows are disgusting. I have dogs and they sit, like the smaller ones like to sit on my lap while I'm driving and they sniff the window, their noses got all over it, their paws are gross, they're all over it. Um, so just ignore that. I freaking hate turtlenecks, you guys. Sometimes I like them, but like, I just feel so... This is so random, but do you guys keep anything like weird in your car that you're just like superstitious and don't want to get rid of I know that sounds really weird maybe it's just me but there are things in my car that like should not be here whatsoever have zero business being here but I keep them in my car because I don't want to get rid of them this little um it's like, I think it was supposed to be a little Christmas ornament, but I got it when I worked in uh, the real estate office. One of the realtors like gave everyone a little ornament thing. And it was like three or four years ago and I just keep it in my car and I can't throw it away. I can't get rid of it. I don't know why. There's like pieces missing. Couldn't tell you. There's also, did I throw them away? Nope. They are like covered in dog hair, but these little like oyster, are they oyster shells? Whatever these like little shells are. They, um, Austin and I went to like the coast sometime and we found them. I found them and I kept them. Tell me why I kept them. I, I have no idea. But the weirdest thing you guys, hands down, the weirdest thing that I have in my car and I refuse to get rid of. It's destroyed. You know what this is? This was a little bird's nest that was on the ground, on the floor, on the my lawn in my parents' old house probably four or five years ago. It was in my old car that I was leasing and now it's in this one. And I, I can't throw it away. I don't know why, but I can't get rid of it. Is anyone else like that? Please tell me that I'm not the only one who has like weird stuff in my car that I, I just can't, I can't get rid of. We're pulling up to the bakery. Okay, the lighting is absolutely awful here. So, I'm gonna pull over a little bit and then I'll show you guys the cake. I also got myself a little treat because I couldn't resist. I freaking love that bakery so much. Shut up. That's a little better. Look at the cake. It is so pretty. They do such a good job. Look at that little hummingbird. And those are little sweet peas. And if you saw my last vlog, um, you might have noticed the tattoos on like the upper part of my arm, but I do have a hummingbird um, 
right here and then I have sweet peas on my shoulder. My mom's name is Heather. Obviously I'm Lily and my grandmother's favorite flowers are sweet peas. So I have all three of those flowers on my arm and of course a hummingbird. It's just our, it's just our bird you guys. Um, but yeah, and then I couldn't resist and I got myself this little eyeball flower cookie. How do I open it? Okay. I didn't eat breakfast and it's 1030. This is gonna be my breakfast. But look how cute that is. It's a little eyeball cookie. This is my favorite bakery. It's, they always do such a good job. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm parked in a private parking, church parking lot, so I'm gonna scoop my boot right out of here. I made it maybe 10 feet down the road. Last bite. Cheers. This moron just cut off the car in front of me. And they just gave a little, little beep. Like, no. They would have got, they would have got a lot more from me. Goodness gracious. People are too nice. And people suck. I guess. Is the moral of the story. If you know what that's from, comment it down below. I did a really bad job singing it, but it's a theme song to a podcast. So I've been considering making a whole, not a whole video, but like maybe, you know how Sav Saves did her um, cash stuffing where she had people write in like their controversial hot takes and stuff? Um, I've been considering doing a video like a cash stuff in where I tell you guys like my pet peeves because I have a ton of them very picky I know it it sucks um and it's a personal problem for sure trust me I know but I have like a whole list on my phone that I've been putting together of pet peeves and a lot of I have like a whole category of driving pet peeves because you already know I have road rage and people just don't know how to drive but um, what are your pet peeves? Let me know down below. Like, it doesn't have to be driving. It can be anything. But just your, in general, pet peeves. Because it really, I have so many things that just irk me. On that note, if you are turning left and there's oncoming traffic, move over. Okay? Move closer to the line, to the median. Is that what it's called? The yellow line, whatever. Move closer to the center so that people can go around you. Don't block everyone else. Obviously, you need to turn, you need to turn. But move over. Be considerate of the people behind you. They don't all need to stop and wait for you for these hundred cars to go by, you know? Yeah. So what are your pet peeves? They don't have to be driving. They don't have to be driving. I know that um, Sav use one of my like unpopular opinions as that but a pet peeve of mine is people who mispronounce the word pronunciation like it's so ironic to me okay it's not pronunciation it's not pronunciate it's pronunciate there isn't even an ou in there like the word is pronunciate pronunciation and it's so ironic that people mispronounce that word to me okay my parents live on a camp road, so it's about to be. I don't know if I can film here. Oh, do you hear that? How loud is that? My furbo is going off, you guys. The dogs do not like being alone. I live. The, I leave like Alexa playing music for them. Also, you'll meet my parents' dogs. I'll show you them. Hi, buddy. Yeah, Hi, buddy. Hi, Gracie. Hi, pretty girl. <laughs> Hi, Raleigh. Hi, buddy. Hi, Cole. Hi, buddy. Daryl Dixon. And then Daryl Dixon season one. Ah! <laughs> he just hit me in the face. Touch you in the face. It happens. <laughs> Me too. Have you seen kids that are going to school now to become uh, superheroes? And they're. 
uh, not Captain America, uh, Mr. Yes, if like, uh, Mr. America. <laughs> Super. <laughs> what? Okay. Our driveway to the well. Mm -hmm. And found where the well line was going into this place. Mm -hmm. And then tapped into it. Yeah. And brought it up. To and brought it up to that. I'm going to put. Let your toy. Let your toy. He's already seen it. What They're not done. What do you want? I think they look great right now. Thank you. Ugh, imagine waking up to this every day. Organic farmers again. Gift shop. Are we organically farming? <gasps> <laughs> Yay! I saw the sign! <laughs> I'll be with you guys in just a second. Thank oh, you perfect. so much. Thank you. So you can see the fluffier, this is Malawi over here. Oh, yes, yes. This big one right here is ludicrous. Ludicrous. Oh, ludicrous. And then the dark brown one in the back there, that's Baxter. Baxter, okay. And Baxter and Ludicrous are both sons of Luda. Ludicrous. Yep. Oh. Or Malawi. <laughs> oh, Malawi. Yeah. Malawi. Baxter Malawi. and Malawi are both Ludicrous sons. <laughs> Did you get their faces this time? Oh, oh the heads. Oh, their names are usually Oh, they're so pretty. Look at them. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I think you were here maybe the last time. Hi, hey, buddy. Really? You come every Saturday? Well, we own two of these. Today, they want to wander as far and wide. Oh, yeah, eventually. But. Don't be tricking them. No, no, I just want to pet them. They're going to follow you. Oh, that's the right on the head. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so they're going to kiss it. 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 Oh, so they're we do keep our boys and girls separate because they could breed and get pregnant at any time. So we're obviously in the course now packing into anything, which you will see once I try to halter them. Uh, so I'm just going to grab this other halter real quick. Oh, well, maybe a large one. Oh, that's really nice. They are all trained for us to be on their left side. They want to be on our right side. Uh, and then when you hold them, this end is loose. Big quarter, big quarter. Good job. The white one here? Uh, nice. This white one and that tan one we're going to get. Oh, they are beautiful. Karina, do you want to go? <laughs> Is she stuck? There she goes.
lay down and snuggle with it. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Mama. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. See. <laughs> Who is it? Who is it? Girl, you got it. Who is it? Yeah. She's really lovey. She's letting me rub her back and everything. Yeah. You good girl. Come on, let's go. You good. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> so they actually do that the way alpacas say hi to each other is by snake. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap up the video today. Um, I don't know exactly. I wish that I could get the sunset in the background because it's really pretty, but I don't know exactly how much um, clips I got. So basically what we did was we toured the farm and then we were able to walk the alpacas around like this little enclosure and play with them and go into their little, like, I don't know what it's called, their little barn gated in area. Um, we were with the girls. They did keep them separate. Um, we did get to learn a lot about them. It was really stinking cool, but most of the clips um, that I was able to get that were like actually me walking them was my dad took, took them. Sorry, it's freezing out here. Had a little baby one. She was two and she was still training, so she was kind of crazy and like she ran away from me at one point, but it was so fun, so cool. They were so, it was just a really cool experience. All around, it was such a great experience. I'm going to link their socials and information down below just so you guys have it. Um, but yeah. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it for the video. Um, Tuesday, we're going to have Cash Stuffing Tuesday. And we'll be back on Thursday for Thankful Thursday. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, week, month, year. And I will see you in the next one.